Okay, let's grab some of those. And a stack of those. And my bottles are outside, too. So welcome back, everyone, to Mist. I'm sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of just organizing everything for where we're going today. I did go ahead and make one of these as well, the Moonshine Stiller. Just so I can have access to uh, to getting my hands on more alcohol. Not because I'm a crazy alcoholic or anything like that, but just because of the uh, the Molotovs. So, oh, that only made two? Oh, okay, wait. So that's going to use a lot more than I thought then. So if that only makes two, was it the water that I put? I, I don't know. I'm going to have to work that out, what the uh, what I actually get back for putting into the moonshine still. Because I think I actually filled it. If that only gives me two at a time, unless I had, like, less of the sugar or something, I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with it. But either way, I do want to go ahead and make... Oh, yeah, we've got, we've got to get the bottles too, right? So let's just grab a stack of these. I do want to go ahead and make the two that we've got. So I've got some extra Molotovs. You may remember in the previous episode. Oh, hello. Oh, I actually see it too. It's just over there. You may remember in the previous episode that in all of the panic of the berserker running towards us. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Wait, let's have a look at how you're doing. Okay, so his water is still low. Where's the food? Let me just grab a little bit of that. I'm pretty sure it's this one. No, this one. There we go. But you may remember in that previous episode that in all the panic with the Berserker, I launched, I think it was one Molotov that I didn't even light. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I was really upset that I did that because I've been really trying to save them. But I guess it happens. In all the mild freakouts of that monster running towards us, <laughs> I think I did relatively well. All right, let's see if this person's okay. You okay in there? Oh, yeah, you're out cold. All right, let's see. <gasps> oh! Okay, let's just take all of that. And, yeah, we're going to rescue you. Oh, I think I have two apples now. Thank you for saving me. Sure. There's a small thing I can give you in return. What is it? Scrap. That what you're going to... I was really hoping I would get... So, I do have a question for you guys. I was told pretty early on... Oh, that does go out as well. I've never actually seen that go out, or at least I can't remember it. I was told pretty early on that when these guys have this type of accident, when they crash their cars, you can find weapon attachments on them. They give you that as a gift. Is that true? Is that a case where we can find things like that? Because I would really like to find more. I'm pretty sure I've got like... I think there's a drum. A drum mag that I can find. I would really love to get that off one of them or even find it. But yeah, if that's the case, somebody please let me know in the comments. Because I'll obviously make an effort to keep going back to them. But yeah, welcome back guys to Mist. I know everything's a little bit rushed right now. I'm just trying to make sure I've got everything. Because I don't want to leave any stone unturned before we head over there. But what we're doing today is going down into the tunnel. Now, if you haven't seen... The monstrosity that's down there, we're, we're going to experience it together. I think it's down there anyway. Dig in, big guy. Let's give you another one. I want to try and keep you filled up as well, because I don't think we're going to get an opportunity to when we go down there. Also, I do want to update you guys on what's been going on, because there seems to be a few people that's not in the know. I guess a lot of you guys that are not in the know, especially if you just stick around to watch the Mist series or you come back to the channel for a particular video, which is totally fine. But you obviously won't know what's going on. Like, let me double check how you're doing. Okay, so you're full now. No. Oh, there it is. Oh, I left it in the locker. Oh, that's so good. Rachel, here you go. Wait, you heard me? That that was so weird. You walked straight over to me then when I said that. How many do you need? Uh, just two apples. Hand over items. Hand over. Oh, there we go. We got the compass. So that'll be under gear now, right? And proceed. So we just have to fix it up and then we're golden. We've got our own compass now. So I think that's the last of the items. I think the only other thing we really need to do is speak to Scott. I think. Unless it's somebody else. Oh, no, he's not in his usual place. Scott! Where are you hiding? Right, come here, boy. Come here, come here. I need you to just stay near the truck because last time you started acting like this was when you went right outside the perimeter. So just stay there, be a good boy, and give me a couple of minutes. So what Scott usually does... Oh, there he is. He's, he's over at the front door. I'm acting like he's crazy and he's just gone off wandering away. Right, Scott, talk. Looking for me? Heard that you need to fix the old wires. I can show you how to craft copper wires. Should be useful. Bring me two copper ingot. 
two metal scraps and two components. So I'm going to need to mine the, the actual mine that we went into in the previous episode, I think. Okay, either way, we should be able to get our hands on it. And that way we can make the wire. But that's not what we're doing today. Okay, Scott, I'll take a rain check on that, but I'll definitely be back. Let me just double check I didn't leave anything in there. Usually I put stuff in that workbench as like a heads up. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay, how is that drying? 93%. Okay, so let me just double check everything. Slot one, let me rotate you to the explosives. And we got the revolver and I've got the grenades. We also have the molotovs here. I'm actually going to put the ammo up there so it's easy for me to switch down. I don't think I have any ammunition for this anymore. Fish pond, there we go. That's what I wanted to have a look at, at throwing down. Can we get that nice and neat? I want to try and get it as flush as possible. I know you guys are the same as me for stuff like this. I've seen it so many times in the comments. You want it nice and flush to fit where it's supposed to, right? Yeah, it's not going to be clipping into that. That looks right just there. So just six blocks and some concrete bags. We can get that. I want to throw this together because if we do go fishing, I want to be able for them to survive in there and then obviously take them whenever I can. I don't know if it works, but we'll mess around with it. Okay, right. Let's not waste any more time. You ready, big guy? Let's go do this. Now, once again, if you haven't seen the monster that is down in the tunnel, I think it's there. Because if it's not there, I have no idea where it could be. But if you haven't seen it, then you're in for a bit of a surprise because it's pretty cool looking. But yeah, I'm not taking this thing lightly. So that's why I had to make sure that I have everything. Oh, actually, with that being said, let me just quickly check. Oh, 14. Yeah, no, that's not going to that's not going to work. 10. And is that all I have? No. And another three there. 27 that's got to be it right that's got to be enough this thing really does hit like a train so this is like my fallback i've got the grenades the molotovs oh, we'll see we'll see if it doesn't work then it doesn't work we'll come back even more equipped i uh i do want to break immersion for a second because as much as i want to kind of keep you guys involved in the storyline behind surviving in this scenario in this apocalyptic world I do want to break immersion just to tell you guys a couple of things because I do get the messages quite a lot and it's flattering, guys, the fact that you do want mist all the time. But I can't always answer it, especially right now because I've been so busy with trying to move house. That's the reason why the videos have been very sporadic and random on the channel as of late. Usually I aim between three and four videos a week. Obviously, if I'm working on a bigger project, then it might slow things down. But as it was going, everything was like three or four videos a week. And then I was told... <laughs> very very last minute that i had to move and i mean the 11th hour and everything got thrown up in the air and I, obviously as you can imagine i was panicking a little bit because i just couldn't find a place and long story short i have got one now so i'm just counting my lucky stars that i do have one although anyone that's ever moved house before knows it's not actually signing on the dotted line that's the work. <laughs> it's the move itself and then moving everything over from what you've currently got in where you're living now to the new place. So yeah, I'm going to have like, I, I'd say anywhere, I want to kind of guess anywhere between a week to maybe 10 days, probably 12 at max, where things are still going to be a little bit slower on the channel. And I have seen the comments. Go, oh no! No, no, no. Easy does it. I've got the car jack, so... We should be all right, but I don't want to get caught out in a mist if I have to use it. Ease up. <gasps> ease up, ease up. No, no, ease up. Oh, my God, don't get stuck. Oh, my God, Leo. Oh, my God, Leo. Wait, I think I can save this. There we go. Oh, breathe. <laughs> it's so hard to keep my train of thought, too. But yeah, I was saying, I have seen the comments of you guys letting me know that I never have to say sorry for like the slower videos or anything like that. You guys know I've got other things going on in real life. I do appreciate that, but to me, it's important that you guys know what's going on because obviously you're a massive part of my channel. So yeah, I just wanted to bring everybody up to speed. If you haven't seen the community post, and by the way, if you ever want to know like what's going on, anything with me or any upcoming stuff, always check the community tab on the youtube channel because i'll always post something over there or over on my twitter but yeah i just wanted to bring everybody up to speed on what's going on i am kind of in the middle of moving right now while you're watching this i will be moving stuff over so yeah i'm trying to get it done as fast as possible so i can get in the new place and obviously continue with what we're doing but 
if you weren't wondering where your favorite videos or your series were or why they were taking a little bit longer than usual, that's the reason why. Just wanted to let you guys know about that. All right, let's get over to the tunnel and see what we can do. Where's that, like, area? I drove past this purposely not too long ago so I could see if there was a clear route down. Is that it there? Oh, easy does it. Don't scratch up my truck. Yeah, there we go. That works. And then this way. Oh, <laughs> a little bit violent. I'm still a bit jittery about being in the trucks in mist because of what we've been through before. This actually looks like a mist is coming in as well. That might get a little bit spicy when we're in the tunnel. All right, buddy, what do you want to do? Do you want to wait here for the uh, for the mist to roll past or are we going in? Yeah, I think so too. Let's go. Come on, stay close. All right, the battery's dead, so we're going to have to repair that really quick. I'll replace it, I mean. Let's quickly change it. Yeah. And then battery. Oh, this is... This is actually a little bit sketch with the mist being here. You know what I might do, boy? I might leave you next to the truck because you know to get in the back of it. Stay there for now. Good boy, okay? If I don't come back, live a good life, Leo, okay? Be free. <laughs> he doesn't know what I'm saying. It's like, shut up, you idiot. Take care of business. Ooh. Right, let's switch over to this. Hunting arrow. I do have the normal arrows in the truck. I'm hoping that this doesn't break, though, which would be really nice. Might have been a good idea to bring the uh, the pistol. I've got a lot of ammunition for it. Two hunting arrows. Take it down. One. Some food. Can I not get that front one? Ooh, that might be an issue. If I can't get them back like that. Oh, wait. It's showing it me, but I just can't grab it. All right, let's just keep it moving then. All right, we got that. Ooh. I wonder. Oh, it detected us near the door. Is there anything in there that I want? I don't think there is. I'm seeing the um, the detergents up there, but yeah. All right. So what I do want to do before we go any deeper is. Grab one of these. And I, I need to test this. Oh, look at those. I wonder if I burn them, if it will burn that mass behind them. Right, let's light these up. Burn. Burn, burn, burn. Oh, hello. That pissed off something outside. You see that? The stinger came out of the creature? Okay, so that isn't burning then. It detached from the host. Right, let's leave that. Ooh, okay. Right, the nerves are kicking in a little bit now. Switch to the explosives. And uh, let me just double check again. Shotgun, revolver. Are we reloaded with the revolver? That's the Molotov. No, we're not. Right, reload everything up. I'm pretty sure the revolver hits quite hard too, so it's not a bad backup to have, especially with how much ammunition we have. There we go. And let's keep this on us. No, you know what? We're going to start with the shotgun just so I can work out where this creature is going to be vulnerable. Oh, it might not even be down here, guys. I'll be totally honest. But the chances of it being here are pretty high because this is where we saw it last time. I was going to say, that light isn't swinging, right? <laughs> that would be horrific. Okay, here we go. <gasps> there he is. Whoa! Hello! Switch. Oh! Get in there, get in there. No! Okay, I saw his shoulder. Oh! Okay. Oh! Where is it? 
That didn't do anything to it. Wait, do I not hit it? Why did it sound like that? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, he flinched. Oh, nice. Okay, that's what we're going to do. do I, can I be vulnerable? Oh, there it is. Yep, he's glowing. Oh, look at that. He's made him, he's made him vulnerable now. Oh. He, so he's a soldier then. Wait, wait. Let me quickly see. Right, we like this. Oh, my God. Will you run out of ammunition? Come on, big guy. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. Switch the revolver ourselves. We've got our own. I don't know if fire will do it. I'm absolutely going to use this. I know what you're thinking. I do not care. I'm not staying out there with this thing. Don't you do it. Reload, reload. Okay. Ooh, yeah, no. I think we're all right. We're all right. Oop. When he says that, that's definitely a... Don't you... Oh, he's close too. He's got a good shot. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay. Oh! We wounded it. We didn't kill it. Oh, that changes everything. I thought with that this was like the, uh, the 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 final boss fight, I guess, before a new area opened up. I thought what happened was we fought that creature and then it blew a hole into a new area, which was the next section of the of the map. And again, sorry to ruin anything for any of you guys, but I think that is what the developer is working on, like um, the different areas of the map that's still in work in progress. So. Respirator required. You're not hiding anyway. Oh, wait. Is this it? Can we go through? No. Okay. Maybe that is it. That was... I think that was the same... Like, a uh, Sequence that I saw. Basically, as if we were fighting here and he'd knocked me down and then... He disappeared. He burst through the, uh, the concrete in the roof or something like that. Okay. Good to know. Because... <laughs> I did. <laughs> Don't know if you guys saw it. I did pump two explosive arrows into him and it didn't do anything. So that's good to know for next time if we come across his path. And he can shoot too. Let's get back. Not entirely sure actually if there's going to be some infected along the way. So you guys are staying with me for this. I still have a Molotov as well. So I might get rid of that stinger in the room. And hear them. If the mist is in full effect now, I could be... <laughs> I could be trapped. I think Leo is okay. He can hold his own. Somewhere around here, I think. <gasps> what are you doing up there? Kind of want to go and see what that thing had on him, but if I get close to the wall, <laughs> I don't want to get smacked. Might be a bit of a, uh, a trick on the eye. Looking like there's no cracks there, but they, they very well could be. Right, we've got to put this thing down. Light this up. I'm a little bit more uneasy than I was before because coming into this area, I was dead certain that that thing would be down there and then I doubted myself. Now that it's gone, I don't know where it's actually moved to. So it could be anywhere, literally anywhere. We could jump into it any time or bump into it any time. Wait, are you burning? Wait, you're not burning? There's some food there. Let me just run again. Oh my god. Leave me alone. We got some ammunition. Oh my god, you're still alive? Okay, yeah, I'm not messing with those things. And I did try the uh, the biomass as well. Let me have a look. Yeah, I have the grenades. Do we try the grenades? <laughs> I think we should. Let's just... Got to have done it, right? No, wait, no way! 
No way did you survive that. Oh, hello. Oh, that's terrifying. Look at you. You look so different as well. Oh! We're going to spin around. Actually, you know what I might do? Leo! Get him! Get him, boy! Get him! Get him! Oh, get him! Get him, get him, get him! Get him, Leo! Get him, boy! Good boy. <laughs> the the whites in their eyes as well, like this thing here. That, oh my god. The blood around the mouth too. He's one of the unfortunate ones. There was nothing in here. Oh, there was. There was a gear. Okay, we'll take that. Who's a good boy? You helped me out, didn't you? Come on, let's go. Gotta get moving. There is some sugar over there, but I'm leaving it. Now let's be careful here. No one in the bus. All right. So that brings an end to the tunnel. Quite short-lived, but even so, I mean, at least we know now. The problem is, that thing again, like I've just said, could be anywhere. So, eyes in the back of our head. All right, bud. So I guess that leaves us time to do our favorite thing. As soon as all the mist is here, we're going to take our sweet time. We're going to play some music. We're going to make our way back, and we're going to do a little bit of fishing, and we're going to set up the tub for the fish as well. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but I really want to do it. Oh, no, wait. I'm going to have to take a detour over here, right? Because I need the uh, the concrete blocks. I don't think I uh, I have any of them. Actually, seeing as though I've got you here, Leo, go and get it. Go get him. Okay, so maybe it acts as like just you distract them enough. Maybe they turn around. Because it's not like you're taking them down with one hit or you're pinning them by grabbing their leg or something like that. What about that one over there? Let's mess around with the uh, with the revolver a little bit. Only got 15 shots with the uh, the shotgun. Leo, go get him. Get him. Oh, hello. I didn't hear you. Okay, we'll cut out a little bit here. That's not the way I wanted it to go down. Reload. A little bit quicker than that. A little bit quicker than that. Come on. I'm bringing him in because of the noise. One over here too. I was dead sure that that was on his head. Right, they're all going to be going down now. It's cleared up the area. Sun's coming out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still gets the blood going. Definitely gets the blood going. Sugar, I... Oh, wait, no, I do need that now. Because I'm making the alcohol. And you're not down yet. Now you are. Okay, so I thought I'd show you all this because I did get a lot of people asking about it when I was making the, uh, the garage for Gion so she could modify the car. Basically, when I came back to this area after I refreshed the loot, which I did do a few times in order to get the uh, the concrete blocks and the concrete bags, there was one of you guys that let me know there was a way you could cheese it a little bit because of the weight cap. And if you grab like a, a locker like this, or you can use a suitcase or a bag or anything like that, and you just plop it down, this basically acts as something to counter the weight. So you pick this up and this one too. Sooner or later, if we keep going, it'll say too heavy, can't carry anymore. So all you got to do then is just grab them and throw them into there. And you can carry this around instead. So it kind of, if you like this type of thing where you're more efficient when you're, you're out looting, usually I don't do this just for the sake of the story. And obviously, if my character was out, we would have to be careful with what we carry back. But yeah, you definitely can do that. And I have used it. I won't lie to you guys. Just in case, I guess people prefer to not make too many trips, then you can do that. One of you guys asked me a while back if I had a choice of having the RV or the tractor <laughs> usable in the game, which one would I pick? That's a tough call, guys. I'd love the RV for the, the simple survival aspect and how cool it would feel. But you can't deny having this thing to tackle the infected and anything else that it throws at you. I guess this world throws at you. Even the bandits, you could just put the bucket in front of that screen there. and You could take down any fence that they put up well i guess 
within reason. But yeah, that was a, that was a good call. I, I thought about using these a few times. It'd be amazing. I don't know. Maybe something in the future like that will come. I'm going to just double check. Yeah, I definitely can't pick that one up. Wow. It can't just be me that loves the sound of rain, right? I know there's a few of you guys that have said that in other videos. that there for now and six blocks oh and two bags it was two bags i thought it was more than that okay so we've got 16 there i'm definitely not gonna be able to carry all those a split one split one and combine all of those and two bags can i move with that yeah we go okay build so we're installing it now i'm hoping this works oh nice okay we've worked through the storm okay so I mean, I guess I've got like a mold of something there. There's also something that's popping up. But I can't quite put my finger on it. Let's see how things work with the uh, the bucket. I think I have water in it, right? I hope I do. Where's my bucket? This one, 15. Right, this should work. So get rid of that. Let's grab the watering can. And then I've got 15 liters here. So, oh, it does. So that's full. Nice. And... See, nothing's actually showing. There's this thing here on the side. I don't know if that... That's not really telling me. It's not giving me any option to do anything either. What about if we just, like, stand over it like this? And then... Gear. Back. Manage. Drop. Oh! I heard a splash. Oh, they're in there. Yeah, they're in there. Look. Pick up. Pick up. So if I can separate them a little bit, I hope that kind of gives them a little bit more life, if you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> it doesn't, like, make them decay quicker. Gears back. Manage. This is going to be a little bit tedious. I wonder if there's a different way to do this. Because I can't really, like, click on the pool and then just drag them in. I don't think, anyway. Okay, maybe... Oh, look at that. Did you see that? It flopped into the actual um, pond, like artificial pool. Yeah, they're in there too. So I, I, I hope that prolongs them. I don't know. Maybe there's something unfinished about this or maybe there's something I'm missing. But I mean, I guess that works for now. So we can we can go fishing now. Leo, do you want to come fishing? <laughs> it's like, I'm addicted. I'm absolutely addicted. Look, I'm ready to go already. Right, let's do this. Have we got good weather? Open up. And is there anything? Nah, let's just put you in there. We'll put the grenade. Oh, no. <gasps> what about grenade fishing? Oh, we have to test it. We absolutely have to test it. I want to be able to make a little boat, too, to go out on the river. Right, Leo, come on. We're going. We're going fishing. Let's go. Come on. We've had a rough day fighting monsters, trying to survive, scavenging what we can. We've earned ourselves a little break. A little rest and relaxation. Oh, I'm getting a headache. Oh, God. Flickering. <laughs> Stop. There we go. Right, Leo, I need you to be a good boy. If you want to go for a swim, you can, but just wait there for me, okay? Right. Actually, no. First things first. Let me just... I know this is stupid. I know. I know. I got plenty of them back at home so I can make more of them, but let's just try. Ah. Any fish? Drink on safe. Okay. 
Okay, no, nothing. <laughs> Grenade fishing isn't a thing. All right. I'm glad we tested it, but it's not a thing. Ah, there we go. Nice and close to the shoreline. And... Any second. Wait. Fish on. No. Oh, sorry, I got excited. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Oh, that's a good one. That's really close. Fish on. There we go. Right, reel her in. Come on. Reel her in. Now, you can get really, really close with doing this, by the way. Again, I'm not entirely sure how long <laughs> this is going to be in the game for. Like, being so close to the shoreline. But, take advantage of it while you can. Because if you have to reel this in from the center of the lake, like we've done before, <laughs> it really burns the actual equipment. But, there we go. We got ourselves another one. Right, let's see actually how close we can get. Because I've had it pretty close. Like, okay, we can get it like there. Look at that. <laughs> I'm basically over the top of it. So let's just stare at this. I want to say the, the way. There we go, the bobber. And then reel it in. Come on, fish. Go against where it's pulling. Tie the fish out. Come on, fish. Walk up to it. And there it is. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought we were going to be right on then. <laughs> Might be way too much fun with this, by the way. I really didn't enjoy it at first. <laughs> now I know I can get fish. I'm having a blast. Fish on. There we go. Nice. Right. Bring this little shit in. Come on. Come on. I think I can even just go, yeah, just like that. Like, walk out into it. Oh, <laughs> it's such a cheesy way of doing it. But it works. And I'm not going to argue against it. Because one day, it probably won't be there. So... Let's have a look how we're doing. Look at all that food we've got now. Okay, so I am going to actually uh, harvest these up. Because I do want to feed them uh, to Leo. Look at him. He's absolutely starving. So we're going to head back. I'm going to whip us some food together. Throw a fire on. And I'll be back with you guys in a couple of minutes. Come on, buddy. Let's go back inside. There we go. Look at all that light. Look at our new little pond as well. Oh, it feels so good to actually live comfortably like this. I say comfortably. There's, there's danger around every corner. Just over the horizon, there's going to be a new list of problems. But with that being said, we're not far away now from a brand new update. There's going to be a whole host of changes, and there's going to be something even more terrifying coming along, which people are calling the siren. So I guess, I guess we'll deal with those things when we come face to face with it. But is there anything you guys want to see? Be sure to post it in the comments below once again guys i do apologize about any holdups i know you don't want me to say that but i just feel like i want to absolutely let you guys know what's going on in case there's any delays i'll be as fast as possible moving in and i'll keep you guys up to speed on everything so for now thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and i'll see you all in the next one